Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. After kicking Kefka's rear end last stream, I decided to take a day or two off and try something different. Now, so we're going to start up Hollow Knight before we do our next RPG. I have no idea how long this game is. I haven't played it much at all so far. Um, just a couple of minutes just to make sure it worked. I saw the SGDQ this year, something like tail five minutes or so of a speed run of it, and the, the style and everything of it just sort of hit me. So I said I had to buy it and play it. And now, here we are. So, let's see how this goes. I'm going to start up here in just a minute. Correctly. how badly we love it. what just happened, but I feel like I should be concerned. very beginning done, I will be back in just a moment.
Okay. Let's see here. I believe that this is a Metroidvania style exploration and backtracking game. Apparently I got the sword the doors to open them. I shall have to watch out for mobs. I appear to be collecting some sort of resource. Hurt me. Just did the knockdown. Those hurt me though. Oh, e. Look, this sword is here. Is that that could be useful? I think that's that cage, probably. Spikes. I guess that spikes are bad. Spikes are usually bad. He got spiked. Spikes from above. I'm a very brutal person. I appear to be able to destroy almost everything. Oh, that's extra spare free hit points. I like those. When in doubt, hit it with your sword. That appears to be my basic mantra. Whoa. Hmm. Back out yet? Nope. Oh, this way. Watch out for the spikes again. Because spikes, as previously discussed, are bad. Yep, spikes are bad. Ouch. Guess that I can't go that way yet because that's a very large spike field. This way is dead. Go down so I can actually do this. Oh, no. Was close. Throws are just a touch floaty, but not too bad. I'll get used to them. This way. Nope, can't quite make it there. Maybe later, I guess. Or maybe you have to know it's there the first time. Open sesame seed me. Open. 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 I get very angry of doors, don't I? Doesn't really seem to be much of a civilization. Looks a little run down and abandoned. Oh, the grass. Oh, 
Ah, the fading town. Dirt mouth is a hollow mouth. Akala, in tono. Rest here and give up your temporary hit points. Well, that would have been nice known before I did it. Yet effective lock. I don't know if this is the right way. fear of falling excessively far into a blind pit. Apparently not healthy enough though. I think he's saying we're lost. Correct this. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm I'm right down here with the guy with this the weird snout thing. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Looks like there should be a way to the left, but maybe I can't do that. <laughs> oh, I can go back up. That's quite a jump. This should be up or not? And, you know, honestly, I don't know. Um, some stairs for some ways off the side that I haven't gone yet. So let's go explore. What you say? And I missed one. But these things happen. We'll try. I appear to not be able to get past here yet. It's very effective, so... That means not this way yet. Which is, you know, nice to tell me so straightforwardly. Certainly didn't have to. I think this is the passage on the right in the middle of the large shaft that I don't have a map of. again. And that uh, make me respawn wherever I respawn. Crap. Apparently up here I'm this. Well, let's go explore some more. Do I get to keep my map at least? Papanada.
my little globe is still broken. I don't know if that means anything, or if it just means it hasn't... Manamato Churo Namen. Perhaps it was from the opening cutscene, three little lights. Mm. Find ouch. We find more ouch. Need to watch out for his backwards flying jump. Ah, to die here. Can I go over you? Nope. Why well, yeah, I can't. Not sure that's useful. It's the way to die, apparently. go back and get that blue globe again before I go down. I'm gonna go try that. I'm gonna go see what, if anything, yeah. Consider this first stream exploration and being lost. Because that does feel like what I'm doing. Well, I can't go back up, so no, I can't do that.
disassemble all the scenery. Ah! Other way, this should go to the shaft down. Yeah. Yep, that's where I was at before. I wonder what those wormy things in the be. And the glass are. Like all the currency units. Yeah, those things. What are those? Jump button is your school to do. Right, you Okay, stop crying. as much healing energy as I could before now that I've died. Respond though. Nope, they don't. Just the critters. Good now. Spike also goes back to the ceiling. The naughty, naughty spike.
Well, bye bye elevator. I see every other weekend I stand on falls. This, however, uh, does not. Didn't want a map for here anyway. either down the well that's at the bottom of the shaft or fight the mini boss guy up yonder. That's reassuring looking. Because I died here before, I got my power back. Ah. Yeah, I learned something. would have not have been super useful other than the fact I got a bunch of money for it because this guy is still released whatever he was what if he responds I know not appear to respond Knocking shit down, breaking everything I see. Don't mind me. sit on this bench while I have money, do I still have it when I die? Whatever. Probably not. Probably not. <sighs> Bye for nada.
So I want to get the compass, I want to get the quill. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy the quill before I die again. Because I'm sure I will. Just a given, right? I'll die. Right? I'll, I'll totally die. Giant mine shaft doom over here. So we are ready. Let me double check. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Okay. Now I know what they are. Yes, let's see. Oh, look, it's a spike doom pit thing. My favorite. Straight down here about killing myself? Yeah, I can. Spikes on the walls and nowhere. I can't go that way yet. I can't go that way. Back. This map, or I'm guessing that's a boss right there, but I don't know that for sure. I didn't really want to get hit there, but it's fine. Right? 
assuming I upgrade my jumping ability and stuff at some point. I don't have any upgrades yet, but it just seems like that kind of game. murder hobo. <laughs> also, hello people watching. Right, right above the chef, down. I don't think I'm going to be able to go this way yet. Oh, we're not going to. We're going to go back and go the other way. I haven't been yet. I'm somehow managing to keep track of all this in my head without throwing that. I honestly just don't know how I'm doing. But man. that was pure dumb blind luck. That's why. or go back to a bench to respawn the humanoid enemies, but the sort of critter ones respawn just when you leave the area. I should grab all my filthy currency. And what I also think now that I think about it, that going back up and sitting down at the bench might actually be a useful activity. Fill in parts of the map. I. that's stupid. Don't do that. I'm glad I didn't just leap down into those spikes. That would have pissed me right the fuck off. This should be the bottom most segment going to the right over there. Oh, well, that's annoying. boss. Hey Red Raven, how you doing? Sorry, I was busy trying not to die horribly there. I didn't see you say hello.
Part of me wants to go down, part of me is scared and wants to go back up. Safe on that. However. Ooh, money. I feel like I made the right decision here. I am doing well. I decided to try something different and new. Been meaning to play this for a while. And I, you know, I should stream it. So here we are. I'm going to be doing this in parallel with my RPGs. You respawn like a jackass, don't you? I saw about five minutes of this being speedrun at SGDQ, the very end of it. I thought it looked really cool and wanted to try it out. So here we are. That's a really scary looking worm thing over there. And I can't go up, of course. You know, that money down there looks nice, but not nice enough to do that. I don't know, I've never played it before. Um, there's a little bit of cutscenes at the beginning, but it's typically cryptic if you want to go watch it later and see. I, um, it's all at the very beginning of this video. I'm kind of figuring out the story as I go. It feels like a dying world sort of story. So the last time I hit one of those little lamp post things, it triggered a boss fight. That I don't think I fight by that. Ah, it's because I'm not gonna go. Let's always just go. I can go up here. And where am I at? Does this look familiar? I have no idea where I'm at. I really should go by that compass so I can keep track of where the hell I'm at. <laughs> Bench. Look at that. That's so useful. More map. So I think I'm at the bench that's right below the area that looks like it might have a boss in it. Um. Sure. Oh. 
Amesodo. Oh, nice. Suddenly, I don't have enough money to buy what I want to buy. Which figures, right? Where are we at? I have to open it from this side. That's tricky. Papanada. And because I spent 50 thingies, I can't afford the compass now. That's fine. That's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Save. I have to spend money to go back down, or is that free? I don't know. Let's go find out. I'd have to spend my money back down. Nice. <gasps> I think you just have to spend money to unlock the station. That's kind of nice, actually. Saving them ahead, but it seems to be the right thing to do, so let's do it. Oh, see there, there's those gates from the bottom. Okay. That's ominous. Dark. I'm not sure I like this without a torch. Can I buy a torch later? Let's go someplace else for now. That kind of scares me. It's not in a happy, fun looking sort of way. Wait, you have a sword now. And a shield. hurt you and you bounce off of them. I might be able to damage boost through there, but I'm not even sure if that's a thing in this game, and I'm not going to experiment on that right now. Is 
because we're annoying Jack. But they do put out money, so you know it's okay. You do appear to be able to fall off of stuff. Um, yeah, so I feel fall down there. And I'm not sure if it's a good thing or a bad thing. be a boss. Ouch. Ouch again. Heal in there that didn't mean any good, so I got hit right after it. Okay, that wasn't quite as bad as I was afraid it was going to be. Although pooping out extra mobs after you were done was kind of a shitty low blow. Now I am going to see if I can get back to the train station without dying horribly so that I can go by. clue where I'm at at this point in this map. Now, that's not the least bit ominous looking, is it? Although that might be a, a weapon upgrade. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it is, I can't get it. Usually, if you can hurt stuff, it dents and stuff as you go, and I'm not doing anything here, so I just don't think I can do it yet. So we're gonna turn around and go back the other way. Then we'll break this because. Which I guess works. I mean, can I get back up over here? I think I can. There's 
Convertible backgrounds are the best backgrounds. Yeah, go this way. and don't get bodied because I should take more on that thing. Okay. It's many years of playing video games. Um, I actually have the little bit of map I've done basically memorized already. <laughs> question is, will I be able to remember between sessions? That's the big question, and I honestly don't know yet. mini boss dude down there. I know how to kill him now, but I'd rather not die right now. So let's go try to find our way back up before we kill him. that compass so we can look on the map and know where we're at. That way I don't have to try to remember it all constantly. <sighs> Look an achievement. Oh wait, my picture's in the way, you can't see my achievements. It's a good question, I don't know what I am. They've called me a phrase it used. That ancient one, something like that. I am a warden, a wanderer, apparently. Whatever that means. Hey, look, I'm right there. Check it out. That's useful. I don't know if I ever get to upgrade my. It feels like a Metroidvania game. There's lots of exploration. I'm doing a little bit of upgrades with the charms and stuff. Not positive how the whole game flows yet. It's the wrong place. Let's go back down and we'll kill that. that I call a mini boss, he's probably just a big monster that's not really a big deal at all. Because, yeah. It wasn't that hard to kill one to figure out the pattern. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, hang on, he's blocking the way to that anyway, so maybe he is important. Well, let's go find out. Just saved. I just spent all my money, so technically, if I die, worst things have happened. I think we'll be okay. So he was guarding the way to whatever that big thing is up there. Um, super reassuring looking, whatever it is. Ouch. God, you know, you know you're having issues when the easy stuff is hurting. What's up here? Sure, it'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? you die until you get back to the spot where you got killed. See my little globe in the upper left is broken and I get to fill that back in whenever I kill my shade up there. It's kind of weird but you know, who might argue? So you can't save with so much healing power. That's what that is. You can spend that to heal yourself. Oh, you're back. That's Right. 
was still not a really big deal. I wonder what that glowy thing over there in the upper left hand corner below my um, health is. I suspect this gate will open once I kill the false knight. So let's go try again. Yeah, that shade right there. Pinning me in, dude. That's just lame. Ouch. Ah, fuck. There we go. I feel like you're an evil spirit trying to talk to me, tell me to do bad things right now, Red. <laughs> oh, shit. Jump! God damn you. He's harder than I thought because there's more phases there than I expected. But at least now I know what I'm getting into. Um, what happened with the black thing I killed is whenever you go, when you die, you leave behind a spirit thing. It looks like, and you can't collect as much energy until you've killed it. Why, hello, Natic folks. Yeah, you just, I, I don't know, did you just get to watch me die again? If so, good timing, Raid. Good timing. Just me. That's a lot of people. A lot of people like Metroid Prime, huh? trying to kill a boss. I've built twice so far, but I keep making it farther along. So, you know. Thank you for the sub, Green, fu green Fuzz? I assume that's Green Fuzz.
I'm gonna go try to kill this boss again. You guys probably get to watch me get frustrated and, and fail horribly a third time because it just seems to be the way it's going. Airbending Eagle, thank you. It's a beautiful game, it's awesome. Um, the difficulty curve is a little harsh here and there, but it's not bad. I'm actually working on the first Metroid. I have so far died twice at Mother Brain, which is a little embarrassing to be honest, but you know, here we go. I've got my run, my path down to an hour and a half. Um, it's not a speed run path yet. It's just an easy, relatively straightforward Maybe you won't die horribly, Pat. In which people don't have to watch me try to jump and bait mobs for a half hour to get the various suit early. I've never played Super Metroid. I plan to do it soon. That was my dead spirit. I was waiting for him to come back and kill it again. It's not weird at all. No, it's not. God, ugh. Here's me failing repeatedly. Ugh, this guy's a jackass. Apparently has at least three phases. I am doing terrible here at anticipating him, and I'm gonna die again. Okay. okay. Heal. Chance to heal, you asshole! Ah. This is the PC version. I don't think the switch is the switch version out yet. I don't even know. This is on Steam. Jackass. Nobody puts me in the corner and gets away with it, except for you, apparently, because you did kill me. I have never played it before. I've never watched anything except for the last. Oh, no, yeah, no, I swear, like, uh, no, it's fine. Go for it. God damn it. You know, I swear when I'm frustrated and I forget the mic's there, so eh, fine.
Let's go try this non-swearing frustrating guy again. I understand the strategy now, but the execution seems to be evading me a bit, but... Good night, Airbending. I will totally be streaming Super Metroid when I get to it. Yep, I will be doing that. That's fine. I got a bunch of stuff on. Kill him because the gate's still closed. Actually, currently streaming everything I play. I'm gonna be starting Chrono Trigger up on Wednesday. So that should be fun. I just finished Final Fantasy VI Saturday. I have a bad RPG, Johnson. I can't help myself. I like Final. I feel like I should go save before I go look at what's over here. Yeah. So it's Final Fantasy VI. I started doing Final Fantasy VI probably about a month before you did an addict, and um, I just play, I stream less for less amounts of time, so it takes me longer to finish stuff. I'm gonna go save this. I am totally gonna go save this before I explore. I've been pondering streaming Skyrim, but I don't know if I want to do that or not, because Skyrim... I've never finished it, even though I've played it for probably 40 hours. This game feels very Metroidvania. There's a ton of backtracking and exploration. And it's not blind. I've played it. I just haven't finished it. <laughs> Say hi to Nightbot. <laughs> Let's go spend some of this money before we get killed and lose it all.
But to be fair, in the 40 or so hours I played Skyrim, I did all side quests and almost none of the main quests. Papanada. I don't think any of this are things I care about. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll update the map a little bit more. So like it's still early enough that if I blow money on map updating stuff, it's probably okay. And you can all laugh at me here in about 15 minutes when I go across something that wants 500, that wants 500 um, currency units for something. It's, it's gonna happen almost certainly at this point since I spent it all. Now I will be doing, like I said, I'll be doing um, Super Metroid Blind sometime soon. I don't know when. I don't have a Switch yet. But I will most likely join the oh, horde of other people it. doing Prime 4 playthroughs after I get one. Not that that will be hard to find or very unique. An ancestral mound. I don't know what an ancestral mound is. There appears to be one right there. Skyrim blind in all caps one, two, three, four, five times. Surprising to get for spamming too, but apparently Nightbot cares about the caps more. Because my stream is so awesome that you, um, you had to watch this. <laughs> so now the question is, which way do I want to go? Um, I have a bunch of options here for stuff to explore now, and I don't know where to go. It's the thing about playing a game blind, right? I killed that boss. It appears to be a way over there. Let's go see what's over there. Let's go see what's over this way. I killed this guy. He was probably guarding something other than money, but I don't know. Actually. What? You're back again? The first one of these I killed died once and stayed gone. I think he was actually marked as a boss. Now they're just big, big annoying enemies that I fail on occasionally. That good, I know. Okay, you have to actually time your swings right, or you just get hit by stuff, which is important to remember. My nightbot is very generic. Um, it has a couple of timers. Other than that, I haven't changed that much on its config. I don't care if you curse. You can fucking curse all you want to. Well, there was a gate up here. Let's go see if I can get through there now. Uh, you can ignore that timer because apparently I forgot to disable it after the voting was done. I cannot get through here because I can't jump that far. Okay.
Chrono Trigger or bust at this point, guys. You know, I don't care what you do if you're best man. Fine. Oh, hey, there's a switch there. I didn't even see that the first time. Ah, oh, okay, this loops back around. So I know where I'm at. Uh, um... Anything up here? I like this game. The uh, the atmospherics are nice, and doing a game completely from scratch is not something I've done in a while. So it's actually kind of fun exploring. And uh, the skull motif and all of that—that's very reassuring. I'm I'm down with this. I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Oh, hang on. Here's a save point. You want to talk to me? Come okay, on not... in, man. <laughs> the snail shaman. Seems reasonable. What you got for me? Great. And now I can shoot stuff, which I actually had a problem with previously. Namino, Namino. <laughs> Thanks, I didn't save yet, jackass. I guess that's my own fault. Can I leave? Nope. I think it's a lot of power to cast, but it's nice. tap that one's game you can stop telling me to do it again uh, oh you can actually attack up and down well that's kind of cool i didn't notice that before Your swipes, you know that. Oh, that would explain how I get through parts of the game that I hadn't figured out before. Okay. Really terrible. I'm glad I'm so conflicting. I feel like I've done my job. That is a lot of effing spikes. Oh crap, this part's gonna suck. Like I said, this part's gonna suck.
Yeah, they're not instant kill. They but they reset you back if you don't jump off of them correctly. So you have to do the area over. This recharges spirit if you attack it. I have full spirit, so I'm not going to attack it right now. I'm collecting standardized currency units left and right. I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. I hadn't heard it of it, so I will give it a whirl. There was a section earlier with some spikes that I didn't know how to get past. So that may very well be the right way to do it. Temporary hit points are the best hit points. Like, let's see, did I miss anything this way? I don't think I did. Let me go back up and make sure. Down there and nope, nothing over here. Uh, well, oh, temporary hit point was nice until it went away. That was an idea. Yeah, I just need no spirit. I don't care about it right now. Oh, there's the other bug. Oh, hello you. You appear to be a big bad monster, dude. I really need a way to refill my spirit. It would be awfully nice if something would spawn so I could hit you again. There we go. That's what I needed. Thank you. Oh, or I could just be an idiot and get bodied multiple times. That's what we'll do. We'll just get hit a few times here. Ah! Come on. That's sick. Look at it. That would be a really set, stupid time to die. Like that. I wonder if that stays dead. I'm gonna put my money on no, but he actually wasn't that hard. Other than getting to him again. Hey, I'm proud of my ability to predict my own demise. As somebody who has played Dark Souls, it does not seem that bad. But it is. It does like fucking your shit up pretty good. The difficulty curve is pretty harsh. It starts off and teaches you stuff and then pretty much slaps you into the deep end really early. And, you know, the spikes. You die, you lose all your money. I'm not sure how big of a deal that is yet. I 
I will probably, maybe, not completely certain, go back and stream Dark Souls as well. Um, I've never finished the first one completely. I've probably made it about halfway through. It is honestly a really fun game, but it's hard. It's because there's a setting in the stream settings that turn the chat to lay down. It's important to set that. You have to remember to do it every time, though. The YouTube doesn't effing remember it for you. It stayed dead. That's amazing. I did not expect that. Actually going to be done here probably about 15 20 minutes it's um it's 11 15 here not that I would ever stay up to two not me no the only thing about saving at this bench is, is if you have temporary hit points they go away um, thankfully I didn't have any that time because I was a doofus and died Where am I at? Oh, there I am. Over here. Done in this area now. What I should do is go back up and buy a new map, but what I'm going to do instead is go over here and probably die terribly seeing what's in this direction. More creepy wormy things. Okay with creepy wormy things. I would never stay up till two. I don't do stuff like that. Um, so my question here is, does, does water in this game kill you? I don't know yet. I'm gonna assume it does for now. It really seems like a safe assumption. This is one. Um, and it's 20 bucks, I think. Yeah, I usually stream for about two, two and a half hours. I'm an hour and 45 in, so I'll probably stop soonish. I have two kids, they don't know what sleeping in is, so if I stay up late, I regret it in the morning and drink extra coffee. Yes, the water kills you. If you were curious about that. Or at least it acts like spikes. I think it just acts like spikes. I got double spike. Ori is really good. I haven't finished it either. It's also a Metroidvania. It should be cheap now. It's been out for a while. No, yeah, that doesn't work like I hope it would. But I should be able to reach you. Yep, you're welcome. Ori's also really freaking hard. It is a Dark Souls-y sort of game. Um, it's fun and brutal at the same time. I bought it on my Xbox One because I have a really old one. It was cheap, though. You should get it and play it. It's really fun. And it should be, like I said, it should be cheap now, too. It's been out for a while. 
Uh, oh yeah, spike. Spike hell. Yeah. Spikes. What? That already fell down. I guess there was two there. Cheap. Wait. What am I waiting for? You again? I guess you just respawn like everything else now. Metroid is totally a Metroidvania. Like to find the whole genre, there has to be one, right? Kind of like by definition. So I have ways I haven't gone over there. There's a way over there I haven't gone yet because it's dotted. There, there. Wow, this is a big game. I just don't have any clue where I'm going next. Right now, I think I'm gonna go save and stop for the night, though. I have never played AM2R. <laughs> hey, but can, you give me still, can you get the ROM anymore or is it gone? Papanada. Very helpless map. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to stop and kind of want to keep going. But it's almost 11.30. Early. I think I should stop. If you want a good Castlevania game, you can always try Castlevania. I hear that's a good one. I know is playing right now, so and I have many people are watching. I don't even know how many people are watching me right now. I think there's five of you. I have five people watching me. I think you're all talking too. I believe I'm going to call it a night at this point, because 
I want to keep playing, but if I do, I will probably be here till 1 a.m. and I will really regret that in the morning. There's an emulator for everything. I'm sure there's an Xbox 360 emulator. I also just get an Xbox One and play back and pat. I was, I, I looked, nobody I know or, or subscribe to or follow is currently streaming, so I don't think we're going to do a raid tonight. It's just because I, yeah, sorry. <laughs> The one bad thing about streaming late Pacific time is that everybody else is done by the time I get done. Mm. Oh, you should pay for games. Is Techie streaming right now? Well, if he is, we'll raid him. Why not? He didn't show up, but let's go find out. That's because I have my window too narrow and my subscriptions aren't all showing up correctly. Oh, okay, okay. Um. Not streaming it on his channel. And Team Kappa doesn't appear to be streaming right now either. Is that wrong? Nope, doesn't look like it. I guess they're all done already. Send me the link in Discord, and I will place it for everybody else, for the four or so people currently watching me. Thank you so much. I appreciate more subs. I have discovered I like streaming, and I don't know why. I didn't really expect it. I'm usually really shy. Which server did you send it in? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I got it. Team Koopa Gaming. I was looking for the wrong one. I was looking for Team Kappa. You know, GLaDOS in potato mode could stream just fine. be streaming again Wednesday and I'll probably do this again later next week too later this week because I've really enjoyed it and I want to see where this freaking game goes now so 
Thank you for joining me. Good night.